If any newcomers want to establish themselves in tennis, then they know that the man to beat is still Novak Djokovic. Although Djokovic may never have another season like his 2011 campaign, in which he won three of four Grand Slam titles, the 35-year-old is still one of the strongest players on the court. In this video, we're going to discuss the best wins of Novak Djokovic's career, so stay tuned. First off, at number 10, the nail-biting final in Australia. Djokovic won the longest Grand Slam final in tennis history. In five 5 hours and 53 minutes, the Serbian gladiator defeated Nadal, the ultimate tennis marathoner, in a nail-biting match. And by the time the match ended with a score of 5-7, 6-4, 6-2, 6-7, 7-5, fans could see how much this match affected the physical health of both players. It was even longer than Nadal's 2009 semifinal victory over Verdasco, which lasted 5 hours and 14 minutes. But just because a match is extremely long doesn't mean it's all good quality. But this 2021 Australian Open final was intense till the end and filled with highlight-worthy moments. At the beginning of the decade, Djokovic quickly gained the reputation of being Nadal's kryptonite since he had an answer for each of the Spaniards' tactics. In this final, the two entered Ironman territory, but Djokovic emerged victorious. And the cherry on top is that just before this match, Nadal was 133-1 and in Grand Slam matches after taking the first set. Of course, until Djokovic came along and shook up that statistic, by winning the longest Grand Slam match ever. Coming in at number 9, Djokovic at the Monte Carlo Masters Final in 2013. Novak Djokovic's victory at the 2013 Monte Carlo Masters stopped Rafael Nadal's legendary eight-year run at Monte Carlo and is one of the most underappreciated achievements at the Masters 1000 level. The greatest clay court player of all time came dangerously near to losing it all to the dominant Serb in the opening set. Djokovic's performance improved massively as compared to his earlier rounds in which he was struggling. He had lost the opening set in each of his first three matches that week. They both had injuries, with Djokovic's right ankle injury, which he got during a Davis Cup match, possibly giving him more trouble than Nadal's persistently weak left knee. But the Serbian player made a calculated decision to play and after the tournament referred to it as the best decision of his life after ending Nadal's 46-match winning streak and handing him his first loss in Monte Carlo with a 6-2-7-6 victory. It was more competitive than last year's final, in which Nadal defeated Djokovic 6-3, 6-1, and defeated him again in the French Open final five weeks later, which was again delayed by rain but completed in gorgeous weather. Moving on to number 8, Djokovic vs. Wawrinka in 2013. Even though the next win on our list happened during the fourth round, it was still one of the best plays we've seen from Djokovic. Both he and Wawrinka were playing at an insane level, unlike anything we've seen before from their side. The intensity was incredible, and if it had been a boxing match, Djokovic Djokovic and Wawrinka would have both suffered serious knuckle bruises from the number of times they traded full-body blows with their rackets throughout the five-hour match. Even though Wawrinka was struggling in the second set after coming back 5-2 down, it was Djokovic at the end who delivered the bigger hits, and won with a score of 1-6, 7-5, 6-4, 6-7, 12-10. But even the 35-year-old player acknowledged Wawrinka had outperformed him for most of the evening, but he still pushed through and ended up winning against the Swiss player. Next up at number Number 7. Djokovic Wins the World Tour Finals The 2012 NITO ATP Finals final was fiery as we saw Novak Djokovic defeat Roger Federer 7-6, 7-5 to win his second ATP Finals championship and first in London's O2 Arena. This match marked the end of Federer's two-year reign at the season-ending championships in the English capital, so it makes sense to have this as seventh on our list. Despite falling behind in both sets in the final against Federer, who was in good form, Djokovic Djokovic was stubborn and stuck it out to the end. It was his 75th victory overall. The Serb couldn't repeat his incredible 2011 campaign in which he won three tournaments, but he won more matches and made it to three major finals. He kept the number one spot after losing it to Federer. Coming up at number six, the Serbian was on fire at the US Open final in 2011. If you're a longtime Djokovic fan like us, then you've probably re-watched the 2011 US Open final between him and Nadal a thousand times. Since that final, the Serb has returned to Flushing Meadows multiple times, and we don't believe he's ever smashed a ball with more precision and focus than he did in this 2011 championship match. Unbelievably, Nadal played exceptionally well on the other side of the court that evening. He was probably trying to get his revenge after dropping his last five matches against the Serbian in 2011, but Djokovic had his own goals that year. Djokovic saved match points against Federer in the semifinals, and in the final, he put on a great show for everyone. What's more, he won won 
three major championships that year, solidifying his status as the finest player in the world. Moving on to number 5, Djokovic's Nerves of Steel Although Novak Djokovic's journey to the top began during the 2011 Australian Open, his performance at Wimbledon that same year was just as impressive. To put it plainly, he wasn't someone you could beat easily in 2011, he was just untouchable. The 2011 Wimbledon victory by Djokovic makes our top 5 list. After all, it was a final filled with intensity as both players went head-to-head. -head. After defeating Joe Wilfred Tsonga in the semifinals, the Serb eliminated Rafael Nadal from the top spot in men's tennis. Even if he had lost the championship match, he would still have held that position. Both the situation nor his opponent didn't intimidate Djokovic as he defeated Nadal in four sets in front of his country's then-president, Boris Tadic. Until that point, he'd been the only Serbian man to win Wimbledon. He broke Nadal's 20-match winning streak at the All England Club with his triumph in 2011 and became the first player in seven years to reach world number one who wasn't Federer or Nadal. Up next at number four, our favorite Serb wins at Wimbledon. The 2014 Wimbledon final five-set victory is ranked number four on our list. At the SW19 Lawns, he defeated Roger Federer 6-7, 6-4, 7-6, 5-7, 6-4 to win his second championship. Of course, this was a big win for him since it put an end to his losing streak at the major finals. After the match, Djokovic admitted it was the most memorable Grand Slam triumph of his career, and we have to agree with him. Before his Wimbledon match with Federer, Djokovic had only won six championships and had lost seven major finals. Just a few weeks before, he'd failed to defeat Nadal in Paris, and after missing his chance to win the match against the Swiss in the fourth set, he was in danger of losing in the fifth. But the tennis superstar overcame his Grand Slam slump and won for the second time at Wimbledon thanks to strong willpower. With his five-set triumph in the 2014 Wimbledon final, Final, he broke his career-long winless streak, which had lasted through three consecutive Grand Slam final losses. Following up on number three, the tennis gods were supporting him in 2016. In the 2016 French Open final, the Serb defeated Andy Murray to complete the career Grand Slam. He'd come a long way since his humiliating loss to Wawrinka last year. Djokovic, though, remained strong throughout, even with critics constantly bashing his performance. 2016 was meant to be his year since an injury forced Nadal to withdraw and Federer was withdrew before the competition. Only Murray posed a threat, since he was playing flawless clay court tennis after defeating Wawrinka. The Scot performed excellently to win the opening set, but after wasting a break point in the second set, Djokovic took charge and finally prevailed 3-6, 6-1, 6-2, 6-4. With his victory at the 2016 French Open, Djokovic became just the eighth person in history to complete the Grand Slam. More impressively, he became just the third person to simultaneously hold all four of the major single titles after Rod Laver in 1962 and Don Budge in 1938. Coming in at number two, Djokovic bullied Nadal. Djokovic and Nadal have faced off 59 times, which is the most in the Open era, and most of those contests took place in the last 10 years. This 2016 final was incredibly one-sided, unlike many of their matches, which were usually some of the fieriest matches in tournaments. After dominating the pack on his side of the draw, Nadal had high hopes of defeating Djokovic on a hard court for the first time in seven matches, but what happened in the final was simply amazing. Nadal, who was beaten severely in a Grand Slam final, had nowhere left to hide as Djokovic played his shots with finesse. Djokovic defeated Roger Federer and Roy Emerson in a three-way tie for the title of Melbourne's Supreme King by winning 6-3, 6-2, 6-3 to secure a record seventh Australian Open victory. Mats Wielander, a co-commentator for Eurosport, described Djokovic's performance as total perfection. Finally, at number one, one, Djokovic's incredible comeback. A Wimbledon final is at the top of the list, and this one needs no introduction. In the Wimbledon final, Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer were all set to square off for the third time, and a simple dogfight quickly developed into a tug of war. In the end, Federer had 40 more winners, 15 more aces, and 14 more points won than Djokovic did. He only gave up three breaks while breaking the Serbian serve seven times. The Swiss had two championship points and ended the game at 8-7 in the fifth. But when all hope was lost, Djokovic surprised us all. The newly adopted fifth-set tiebreak at 12-all was used to decide the Wimbledon singles championship for the first time, and Djokovic won with a score of 7-6, 1-6, 7-6, 4-6, 13-12. The 35-year-old took part in two of the longest Grand Slam finals and won them both with sheer domination. And that's a wrap for this video. What was your favorite win from Djokovic's career? 
and let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.